Hi, Dog Mountain here, and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we're going to sort to solve a problem which was extracted from math paper two that was written in 2023 by the GCE candidates. So, without any further ado, let's jump in. So, here's the question: the, same, the diagram shows the frustum of a cone, the perpendicular height. 40 centimeters. This is one here. The top, that's the top, and bottom radius. The radius of the top is 10 centimeters. The radius of the bottom section is 30 centimeters. Respect it. Take pi as 3.142. Calculate the volume of the first one. So, year in, year out, this question comes. If they don't bring this one, they may bring the other one, which is the volume of the first term of the theorem. So, you need to know this. Last year they brought the other one, this year they may bring this one. So, then how do you find the volume of the first term? So, all you have to do is you bring in the formula. So, the volume is given by pi times height over 3 then in brackets radius squared that's the, the radius of the bottom section then plus radius of the bottom section multiplied by radius of the top section which is denoted by the, the smaller term R then plus radius square. I always emphasize on collecting data because it makes work much easier. So for me to find the volume pretty easily, you have to collect the data. I can write this here, but mostly we write data on the right side, right? But I'll write it here. So say data, small r is equal to 10, Big R is equal to 30. Then pi is given us 3.142. We have everything that we need here, except one thing, right? That is height. So we can include height here. Say height is equal to 40 centimeters. Let's plug in all the values and work out the problem to the end. The cell volume is equal to, so I'm going to start on this side, pi, that's the one that we have as 3.142, then height, that is 40, over 3, then in brackets, we're going to write the value of the big radius, which is 30. And it has to be square plus 80. That is the big radius multiplied by. We can put these in brackets since we are multiplying the two. Then small radius. That is a tenth. Then plus a small radius. That's a ten, right? It has to be square. We can change these braces to the overall braces. So that we look professional. So we can work out this. We solve this. That would be V is equal to. Multiply these outside. That is uh, 3.142 times 40 over 3. That's uh, 41. 0.893333. Then that has to be multiplied by what's on the inside. So we can punch everything that it goes. 30 times 10, that will be 300. Then 10, 10 times 10. Mostly people make a mistake. Instead of expanding this, they add them. 10 plus 10 is 10 times 10. That would be 100. 
Then 30 squared, that should be 900, right? Yeah, that's 900. 900. Okay, so we can add everything now. 900 plus 100 plus 1000 plus 300 plus 1300. Then when we find this one, it has to be multiplied by what's on the outside. So 1300 multiplied by 41.89333. That equates to 544.631.333333. So this is the answer, but we have to round it off to two decimal places. You will see somewhere at the beginning of the paper, and they emphasize that if you have a number or an answer, which has digits like this, after the decimal point, there are other digits. You have to round it off to two decimal places. So volume will equal to 54461.33. Now you need to remember the units in which volume is measured. So you take note of the units that are used. So we have centimeters. So that will be cubic centimeters. So that's how we go about this one, pretty simple. I'll do more videos to prepare you for exams, so make sure that if you're not yet subscribed, you subscribe to the channel and then you turn on the notification bell. But anytime I happen to post a video, you are alerted. Stay blessed.